The water is sealed by the skulls. Oh, okay. Well, it just so happens I have two. Oh. I'm assuming this is the water. An old pot. Let's not reach inside. Maybe the sealing of the water is not a literal seal, but a figurative one where your arm gets chopped off if you haven't unsealed it. The skull is facing right. The skull is facing left. A lever. <laughs> Don't pull it. Okay. I have two skulls and there's four places. Actually, wait, can I even put the skulls down? Okay. Four places, two skulls, and I can have them face whatever direction I want. Question is, do I need four skulls? Let's explore. Let's ignore that for now. I've already been here, that's... Darkness. I need the water to make the f petals glow. And I need the glowing petals to get into the dark room. Which is over on the left, so what's up here? 15 seconds to do what? 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 15 seconds for what? The hall is poison. Pass with colorless shoes. What? What does that even mean? There's a skull on a cobweb shelf. Sure, take it. Take got a skull. Good, let's go. Okay. So I need one more. Dusty, there's nothing inside. Empty bottles. Uh, sure, take one. And let's go, now. Okay. I'm getting swag. Getting stuff. What do I have? I have three skulls, right? Yeah. And an empty bottle. Durable glass bottle. Barrel, nothing inside. Already looked at these, right? Yep. Book titled The Skull Soldier. Sure, let's read it. There was once a soldier. His country had perished, and he had died. But he noticed neither of these things. Even in death, the soldier patrolled, starting in the center of the castle ruins. Okay. Starting in the center, I should write this down. He looked left, right, left, front, right, left. Okay, got it. Just look at the colorless shoes thing. Yep. Should have known. Right. So I definitely need four skulls, I think. Because now I have three and there's four empty places. Crack bottles up on the shelf, they don't seem useful. I don't think there's anything else in here. Where's the fourth skull? I don't know. Maybe I need the shoes to get it, but where do I get the shoes? The yellow flowers are having pleasant conversation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Did I ever go in here? Thank you, Floor. Which is diary. No, I didn't come, come in here. Okay. And then a girl came over to play. A cute girl with golden braids. Um, I think that's talking about me. It's not lit. Artificial roses. weird, I can go through the beds. Look at that. Whee! 
And this is the dark room. Pitch black. Skull can't be in there because I need the skull to get the water, and I need the water to get the light, and I need the light to probably go in that room. How are yous doing? Yous alls. They're whispering. Mm-hmm. Keep on whispering. Enjoy. Alright, what about the empty bottle? Nope. What does he need? Do you want some do you want some petals? Do you want a skull? No. He doesn't want a skull. Up here is this dark room again. Water sealed by the skulls. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Let me see if I can figure this puzzle out. Starts from the center, right? And patrols right, left, front, right. Uh, Two, 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 one, two, okay. Right? I'm confused. I'm, I'm starting from the center. Patrols. Left. Wait, what? Left. Uh... Hold on. What are my options when placing it down? Front word. Left and right. Front word. Is that even a word? Front word? Front word. I think it is. Hmm. It just sounds weird for some reason. Starting from the center, it goes left. Right, left, front, right, left. What the hell? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And I don't even think it matters at the moment because I don't have four skulls. Hmm. I'm a wee bit stuck. Locked, pitch black. <sighs> I'm wondering what this glass bottle is about. It might be just for getting the water. Maybe. Hold on, actually. Hold on. Something I never tried. I never tried sticking my hand in this. Let me try putting just the petals in. Put petals in bottle. Put the petals in the bottle. Did... Wait, what? Oh, bottle with petals. Okay. No, don't reach inside. Okay, can't use it with it. Let me guess, because it's sealed. So if I try to reach inside, I'm probably gonna die, right? Oh, there's a skull inside. Got a skull. Okay. Anything else? Old pot, nothing more inside. Okay, I have all the skulls. What the fuck am I hearing? I'm hearing some sort of an animal under my house. Kind of screaming. Can you hear that? Okay, it stopped. What the fuck was that under my house? Might be a raccoon or something. There it is again. Okay, um, back to the... game, if it doesn't start screaming again. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna have to stomp my foot on the ground to make them shut up, whatever the hell it is. I'll try to ignore it. Uh, let me go back and read that note. 
that talked about the soldiers. Or was it? It was the... Oops. It was in the poison room, yes. Let's save it first. Once a soldier, his country had perished and he had died, yep. Starting in the center of the castle ruins, he looked... Wait a minute, did I... I wrote this down wrong, god damn it. Ah, fuck. Front. Right. Left. Front. Right. Left. I got everything right except the beginning. For some reason I wrote down that it started with left instead of front. All right, let's see what that changes. Okay, starting from the center. He faced front, right, Okay, hold on. How is this going to work? Um, I'm not sure what this is getting at. Front, right. Okay, so which ones face right that are around the center one? There's one. Two. I'm not sure if you can go diagonally. If so, then three. Front, right, left. Right. What the fuck? Right. Left. Front. Ah, uh, front. Right, front, right, left, front, right, left. I, I don't get it. I, I'm not sure what it's asking me with that. It's patrolling. Starting from the center, it was f the patrol was facing front, right, left, front, right, left, right, left, front, right, left, right, left, front. Wait a minute. Hold on. Front, right, left, front, no. There's got to be a pattern here. Front, right, left, front, right, left, front, right, left. I'm assuming that's just repeating. Front, right, left, front, left, right, what? Front, front, no, it specifically said starting from the center. I don't get it. Like, am I supposed to be following the skulls from the cent from the center? Going first front, so we're going down. And then right. Okay, go to the right. Go left. Going back. Go front. Go down. Go right. Go there. Go left. And then you'd end up... If you followed it from the center, you'd end up here. I don't think that's it, though. That doesn't really make any sense. Something about that information must be vital for solving the puzzle. So it can't be it can't just be pattern m matching. Like it can't be that you can just stare at this and find the pattern because if so then you wouldn't need the information from the book. See this follows the pattern right here, front, right, left. But then does it anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. Front, front, left, front, front, left, right, front, something. Right, front, left. Starting from the top down. Right, left, front. Okay, that, that matches. Left. Right. Uh, that doesn't match. I don't get it. Fuck it, let's pull the lever. Nothing happens. Eh. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's get one down. Frontward. Why not? Maybe I'll get lucky. Left. Right. And left. Nothing happens. Shit.
All right, hold on. I need to think about this one a bit more. I will be right back. Okay, I believe I just figured it out. It took me like 10 minutes, actually a little bit more than that. I literally, for the entire time, was just sitting here, staring at the skulls, trying to find a pattern, and I just found it. And I'm almost certain is the solution. I'm starting to feel proud of myself, but I haven't actually put the solution into action yet, so I don't know if it's true. However, here's here's the thing. So, it says that starting at the center, the guard or patrol or whatever looked front, right, left, front, right, left, and so on. Front, right, left, front, right, left, front, right, left. So I was thinking, okay, it looked front, right, left, but where was it patrolling? That tells me where it's looking, but where exactly was it patrolling? I was trying to find patterns. I was going like left to right. I was going diagonally. And then I figured it out, I think. It's a spiral. It's a spiral. Unfortunately, I don't have a mouse pointer to point at exactly what I'm looking at. But here, follow me. Look at the skull in the center. Now, imagine you're spiraling out. So the center one is front. And remember, it's front, right, left. So the center one is front. Now go up. Right. Now go to the right. Left. Now go down. Front. Then go down again. Right. Then go left. Left. Then go left. Front. So it spirals up. If you start from the center, you go up, right, down, down, left, left, up, up, and so on. And you're spiraling out from the center. It's really hard to explain. If I had a mouse pointer, it would be super simple. But, okay, doing that front, right, left, front, right, left. I'm following the spiral. Front, right, left. Front, right, left. So this would be front. Yeah. Front, right, left. Now we're going on the outside of the spiral. Front, right. Left, front, right, left. Front, right, left, and front. That's gotta be it. So you're starting from the center and you're going... You're going up, and then to the right, and then down, down, left, left, up, 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 up again, and then you're following the outside of the spiral. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't... I can't think of a better way to describe it without a mouse pointer. Okay, I'm crossing my fingers. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! You heard water running. I'm so glad I didn't look at a walkthrough for this. I was going to. I was about to, but I stuck with it, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> Fuck my life. Whoops. Those deaths are so stupid. A gigantic skull eats your face. The end. Front, right, left, front. Right, left, front, right. Uh, front, right, left. And front. Let's try that again. Go blue, and let's go. Okay, bye. Cool. Oh, didn't trigger it yet. There we go. Oh! Hey, it even comes into the room. I see, so now I need to patrol. Do my own patrol. Going away, uh, going around the skulls. And we do this again. Front, right, left, front. Right, left, front, right. Front, right, left. And front.
Okay. Ooh, 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 oh my god, there's a huge skull. Haha, <laughs> you look like you came from Google Images. And it's gone. And this chair just moved. A little bit. Okay, where's the water? Let's save it first. Seriously, I heard running, I heard running water, but where is it? Maybe I should go back. Okay, it's still in there. Great. Ah. Clear blue water. Are those fish I see? Filled with water. Filled up the bottle. Let me guess, it glows. The bottle begins emitting light. Yes. Tadpole. My dad is dead. I'm sorry, Tadpole. Oh. Your dad was the... Toad or, or frog, wh whichever it was that I killed, wasn't it? Oh my god. I killed their dad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, can I see what's inside of here? Nope. He emits a faint light, can now walk in darkness. Apparently it's automatically used. What about you? Are you doing any better, prisoner? Ah, damn it. Wait, where am I going? Oh, yes. Here? Yes. Oh, <laughs> this isn't creepy at all. I can barely see anything. It emits a faint light. No kidding about it being faint. Drawers. Dusty old dresser. There's nothing inside. Nothing. Nothing. Book under table. There's nothing underneath. I don't think these were covered in blood before, were they? Hold on, there's a pathway down there, and what is this? Look underneath the table. Why do I think I'm suddenly going to find something very strange? Uh, something very dangerous under the table. Like, you look under the table, and you find an alligator that eats you, and you're dead. A small wristwatch. Sure, I'll take it. Got a wristwatch. Cool, I, now I can tell time. What? Wait a minute, what the fuck was that? Why does my image look all fucked up? Is, is, is my avatar now corrupted, or is that supposed to look like that? It's probably supposed to look like that, but why? The wristwatch. The description for wristwatch is die. What? Okay. Thanks. The wristwatch got its wish. It wished for me to die, and I died. That's what I get for taking a wristwatch. Never again. Oh, hi, statues. Oh, hi, person that tried to protect me once, so I'm assuming you're not evil. That statue just moved. Don't block me in. Nothing. 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 And... Oh, there's something in one of the drawers. It, oh, could you please tell me what it is before I take it? Okay, fine. I will take the something. I like things. I like all of the some things. I like some things. I like the things that are some. And I like some things. Got a jade pipe. A, a what? A green smoking pipe. Okay. Oh, hi, statue. I didn't even hear you come up on me. You have a very light foot. Oh, 
Okay, that time you weren't so quiet. Those are coffins. Yeah, I think I'll leave now. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this jade pipe? Is it just me, or do these statues no longer have heads? I heard a statue moving. That's the table with the wristwatch underneath it? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. This is the room with nothing in it. Oh, hi, statue. Right, I'm just gonna keep going. You dropped the bottle. Oh! Great! Keep going up! I'm pressing up! I don't know if it's doing anything, but I'm pressing up. I'm pressing up. I'm pressing up. Okay. Okay. Good. Now I have a jade pipe. What do I do with a jade pipe? I guess the book didn't want it to be read anymore. Something to use the medicine. Oh, like a pipe. You're gonna smoke some powder. Uh, enjoy it. Toss some jade pipe. Toss the jade pipe through the bars. The person snaps up the pipe. Ah, yes. This is... <laughs> mine. It's mine. The person vanishes into the cell. You hear someone leaving the other cell. Oh, cool. I guess I'll take your place. Can I go inside? It's not locked. Okay, let's go. The... Of making... Ease. What? I guess the title is partially unreadable. The... Art... Of making... Of making what? Three letters missing. I'm assuming each period is a missing letter. A fair assumption, I think. I have no idea. Oh well. Two parents, something something, a sick child. Something dependence. Some words are too sloppy to make out. A mess of filthy sewing materials and cookware. Nothing really seems useful. Something wrapped in cloth. Oh, great, I'm probably going to have to unwrap it. Actually, yes, I have to unwrap it right now. Oh! Red shoes! That'll take me into the poison room. Let them bleed. Uh, sure. You can do that. I, I won't... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's her again. You can let them bleed. I won't. Is it... Uh... No, it's over here. Here we go. 15 seconds. Let's go. My plan was not as ironclad as I thought. Wait a minute, did I just not use the shoes? Oh. I just need to wear them. Okay. I need to wear them in the room. We're narrowing this down, folks. We're narrowing this down even further. I can't use them in the room. I need to use them maybe on the goo floor thing. Hold on, what does that say? <coughs> oh, excuse me. The hall is poison. Pass with co oh, pass with colorless shoes. But wait, what? Eerie shoes dyed completely red. 
Okay, how do I make them colorless? <laughs> how would I go how would I go about making my shoes colorless? You wore them, you wore them, ah ha ha ha. Okay. Let them bleed. <laughs> I'm assuming it's talking about the shoes. Let them bleed. So what? What if I take them to the water? A sweet scent wafts through the bars. Well, they're having a fun time. Stand where the birdcage once rested. The red grasses are whispering to each other. Yeah, let's go try to put them in the water. Wait a minute. Can't... Yeah, yeah, it's up here. Washing away the blood, the shoes become clear. Oh, that was blood. Got glass shoes. Oh, great! And now I've made the water all bloody. Enjoy, tadpoles. Dead tadpoles float in the water. Now even they're dead, too. Great. whoop de fucking do I got eaten by a giant skull. Okay. Great. Let's see, it came in through that door, so... I'm gonna go to the right and see if it follows me. Is that skull still in here? No. Okay. Are they still alive? Yeah, they're still alive, so I kill them by washing the shoes. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Is it... Is it coming? Nope, that's it. See? The game arbitrarily decides sometimes the enemies will follow you through doors and other times they just don't. Cause who cares about consistency? Okay. Don't kill me. Can now walk on poison automatically. Okay. Don't even need to put them on. I have 10 seconds. I have 8 seconds. Okay. I have 4 seconds. Oh. Ah. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Should I keep going straight? Hold on, well, I've already wasted time. Should I keep going straight or go to the right? Let's go straight. Straight, 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 straight. Where's the body? There you are. Ugh. The glass shoes shattered into pieces. Okay. So if you go to the right, are you just completely screwed? I bet you are. Whoa. Hold on. Yo. What do you suppose a friend is? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, can I go back? I can. Okay, the room's been fixed. Or something. A dusty old dresser, there's nothing inside. What is that? A light purple fluid washes down. It does no harm. Not that, I mean, what is this? A headless doll. <laughs> Great. Let's take the headless doll. Got a headless doll. Wonderful. And now they're everywhere. Witch's diary. I didn't X her. Because she saved me from my sickness. So I made her my friend. What are these things? 
Something degree burn... Something something mint oi ointment? Like second degree burn ointment? ointment? Some letters are etched off. Bottles filled with bones of some sort. Ugh. Nausea. Some letters are notched off. Uh, scraped off or whatever. Bandages and antiseptic solutions. Head medicine. Some letters are etched off. Alright, so tons of medical stuff. Eye drops. Eye drops. <laughs> and some eyes just appeared in the dark. More eye drops. Sleeping bills, sedatives. Tourniquets. Some letters are etched off. Ooh, this one looks open. What is that? There's a small bottle on the shelf. Sure, let's take it. Got a cute little bottle. Ooh, a cute little bottle. Medicine that kills the witch's roses. Smells sweet. Ooh, nothing smells sweeter than... Dying roses. And that's the doll's head. A doll's head lays on the ground. Okay. I accept what just happened. I don't even know if I can avoid that, or... What? A clock hangs high on the wall. Okay. How can I avoid that? Do I have time to move? We're about to find out. Let's try picking it up from here. Well, this is different. A group of artificial roses. Could I kill those roses? Hold on, is this a different diary? Also, what is this and why is it green? There's some fur left on the stump. <gasps> no! Is that the cat? The cat's fur? Like, was it killed? Which is diary? No, I've already read this one. Well, let's uh, put it together. Combine with head. Got a doll. A doll in purple assembled from a head and body. Would that be the one missing from that room with the different colored dolls? I know there's one missing. I don't remember the color, though. Hold on, let me see if I can use it on these bushes. No. Okay, but, like, how am I going to get back there? I don't even remember where it was. Okay, let's not go in there. Check this room out again? Nope. Yeah, let's just keep going back. Nothing is written on it. Alright, this is all different. But at least you're still there. Good, you're okay. Ah, here we go. Yep, there it is. Place the doll on the pedestal. What happens now? Cool. Oh, it's a hole. There's a hole. Descend. Really? Yes, descend. Well, this looks wonderful. Surely nothing go can go wrong in pure darkness, right? What do I have? Cute little bottle of medicine that kills the witch's roses and a letter. Oh, something here? What is that? Oh, it's a blood trail. Hold on, what if I go back? Anything? What if there's like a secret pathway? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Come to my room. Okay. 
Hey, it actually looks like it's, uh, like it's daylight. Actually, it doesn't look dark and foreboding. A painting of pink flowers. What is, what is it with flowers everywhere? Flowers blocking my pathway. Flowers and vases. Flowers and paintings. Is... Is it asleep or dead? The corpse of a black cat. What the fuck? Oh, God, he makes a squishy noise when you go over it. Okay, that doesn't look good. Come to my room, she said. We'll have a chat, she said. A bloodstained bed. A spilled cup. God, what does my nose keep itching? Fuck's sakes, nose. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Witch's diary. My sickness was going to kill me. So, I took her body from her. Oh. I see, she... swapped consciousness. Or maybe just... took con... I don't know. Yeah. So what have I been seeing? Is that her that I've been seeing? That apparition? I lived on in her body. That's fine, right? Because we're friends. She gave me her body. Because we're friends. So, today, we should play some more. Right? Viola? Am I the one she swapped with or something? Legless girl. Ugh. Ugh. Uh. Oh, it's even giving me the ability to save. I think that's a hint that I'm going to die. Oh, look, I died. Oh, you are fast. How the fuck can you be so fast with no legs? Dear God. Talk about the upper, uh... Upper body strength. Is there anything in the room? Ugh. Maybe I should just leave. I should probably just leave. I'm just gonna leave. She's following me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Tenth time's the charm. And one, two, three, go. Uh, where do I go? I went the wrong way. You go down, not up. One, two, three, go. It won't open. Shit! <laughs> Fifty million times the charm. One, two, three, go. Where am I going? Not here, but thankfully I'm still alive. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay, the front door won't open. Right? That was the front door, I think. But, I mean, not what I was just at, but what I was at in my previous life. So, where do I go? 5,327th trillionth times the charm. I can try to go through the fireplace, I suppose. Shit. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, oh, oh boy. Fuck. Surely a legless girl can't go up the fireplace, right? I'm going to try the fireplace. Trial and error. The best way to create a horrible situation where you're afraid for your life is to make you replay a section 50 million times. I went the wrong way, shit. 
Nope, can't go in there. It doesn't even say anything when I try it. I'm going the wrong way. Fuck! Can't go up, can't go right, gotta go down. One, two, three, go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, there we go. Apparently that was a front door. It was down, not up. Is she coming after me? No. A tree stump. Ah, that is a calmingly mundane thing after all of that. The tree endures a cold wind. Yes, yes it does. Now, of course, what's going to happen is I'm going to run back to the uh, rose, blocking me in. I'm going to use this bottle on it. Cute little bottle. And then I'm going to escape, and everything is going to be perfectly normal, right? Yep, everything's going to be fine. Do, do, do. Oh, wait, there's a note. Is that a note? What is that? Can't seem to... Oh, here we go. Pick it up. Got a letter. The first half of a lost letter. A letter in your pocket. Read. Dear Viola, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's an old legend that says a witch lives in the forest. It kidnaps children who get lost there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Your friend's name was Ellen, right? I don't... Mind if you go to her house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Ellen. Ellen. So is there, like, something obvious that I'm missing? <laughs> Children who get lost there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Your friend's name is Ellen, right? So what, is that, like, the other person I'm seeing? Ellen? Like, I don't even know what happened. She swapped con- she swapped- she took her body. Right? So who just attacked me in there? Was that the body she took, or was that her original body that was messed up? But if it was her original body that was messed up and couldn't support her anymore, then why was it alive? I... Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. Pour the medicine bottle on the roses. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Everything is fine. Surely everything is going to be fine, right? Seriously, is it? Oh, is that... My dad? Viola? Is that you, Viola? Are you safe? Are you hurt anywhere? Oh, thank goodness. You were pretty late, so I'd been searching the whole forest. I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get home and out of the rain. <laughs> She's back! What? What? good. Viola, stand back. I hope that's enough. Is it enough, or is it going to keep moving? It's gone. And that appears to be it. She's 
looking back. Thinking about all the fun times she had in the house. Let's see, is anything else going to happen? I wonder. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well... Let me get my post-game stretch in. And I'll give a little wrap-up. <sighs> oh, I think the credits are about to end. Yeah, so let's see what happens. Let's see if there's any bonus scenes. And by the way, I think this game has multiple endings, and I'm not sure how you achieve the different endings. Get. End. Wow, I was seriously expecting like a gigantic skull to just pop up and try to eat something at the end there. Like you think you're fine, you're walking down the calm forest path with your dad, and then holy shit, there's a giant skull and you're dead. The end. Okay, so let me give my wrap up. Um, I really liked it. I did, I liked it, um... Despite the problems it had, I liked it more than I thought I would, given the problems that it has. Um, yeah, so let me start with the, um, the things I didn't like so I can end with the good, as always. So, I think this game has two major flaws. Uh, the two biggest, I mean, the two biggest flaws it has are, uh, one, the insta-deaths that pop up constantly are just absurd. Like, they are literally laugh-inducing. They are hilarious. They seem like they're punchlines. I don't know if they're intended humorously, or if they were actually serious. If they were intended humorously, they're still a bad idea. If they were intended seriously, that is quite sad. But, <laughs> either way, they were funny at first, but then they just got pretty obnoxious. There's way too many of them. If you want to have maybe a couple insta-deaths, that might be fine, but if you want to have like a dozen, no. There's too many. Walk into a room, there's a bloodstain, now you're dead. Touch a clock, it falls over, now you're dead. Put on some red shoes, now you're dead. Yeah, it's, it's really silly. So this is one of the major problems I had with it. Um, the other is something I am trying to remember, but I've lost my train of thought. What was the other thing? Um... Oh, come on. Remember. The deaths, yes, and... Come on, Marshall. Hold on, let me get my thoughts together. Okay, finally, I have been able to restart my brain and remember what the heck I was going to say. So yes, I already mentioned my first major problem with the game. The second is... A lot of the scares are just really silly and repetitive. For example, the fact that almost every time you leave a new room, it seems like something moves towards you or looks towards you. Like, a skeleton moves towards you. A chair moves towards you. A bear in a basket moves towards you. I mean, it was really, it was really creepy at first and unsettling. But after the 20th time, not so much. It just kind of became silly. Definitely way overused. Yeah. You really have to use restraint when it comes to using horror things like that. You know, having random stuff uh, moving about, lurching at you. Something being kicked off a shelf and broken on the floor. You really have to use that with restraint because if you use it all the time, it just becomes too much and you get kind of desensitized to it. And it just doesn't really work. So that's my other major problem with the game. So the first one is all of the ridiculous insta-deaths. The second one is the cheapness of a lot of the scares. Which, a lot of the scares are about the insta-deaths, you know. There's a whole, there's a huge big monster and it's going to smash you in the face and now you're dead. And that's the scare. And they do it a bunch of times until you can finally get through the scene. And then many of the other scares were the ones where something's like jumping at you for just a little bit. Which is overused. Um, some minor problems. Uh... Okay, well, there's some, there's some definite problems with it just because of 
Just because it's made in the, what's it called, the RPG Maker Engine, I believe it's called. As a result, because of that, it has pretty terrible controls. No mouse support whatsoever. And all that stuff, but that's not really specific to the game, that's, you know, that's an, that's an engine thing. Um, there's one other thing that I wanted to mention. What was it? Oh yeah, I feel like the story just... The story's really bare bones. It's not that it's bad, it's just, there's, it's just that there's really not much there. At all. From what I understood... You are Viola. You're... I think you're going to your friend's house, right? But I presume you get lost in the woods. And you end up at the witch's house. You can't leave because the artificial roses have blocked off the pathway back. Do you go inside? You read these diary entries, which provide you with most of the story, which are extraordinarily short diary entries from the witch. Talking about how she X'd, which I assume means killed, I, I don't know. Um, X'd a lot of people. Okay, so you're in a creepy haunted witch's house and she kills people and steals their souls or whatever, I don't know. And then you you get the reveal that she switched, she was um, sick and dying and had to ditch her body for someone else's and take over theirs, which I assume is Ellen, was it? Your friend's body? M maybe that was her, maybe she got lost. And she was the one that had come around to the witch's house and was trying to help her and was her friend or something. And and then I walked outside and the body came with me and my dad was there and he shot her and then we left. And that's it. It's like, oh, okay. Like, there's really not much there to even really talk about. Like, it's so simple. It's basically, girl gets lost, goes into haunted house and comes out. Like, that's basically it. It's not that it was bad, it's just really simplistic. Not a lot to really get interested about there. And I know this game has multiple endings, by the way, so I'm not... I'm kind of curious what the other ones are. I'll probably read the uh, walkthrough that I have, and thankfully only used once. And look at what the other endings are. But yeah, that's the bad. But now let's talk about the good. The puzzles, which are a big part of the game, it is a puzzle horror game after all, were incredibly sensical. Some of the most startlingly, startlingly sensical puzzles I have ever done. Almost always in a puzzle game, I get stuck. All the time. Not so in this case. I literally only had to use a walkthrough once, and it was for something incredibly simple and incredibly small, and... I'm not even going to blame that one on bad game design or anything like that. I'll blame myself for that one. I should have looked at that, uh, the piece of paper. Although, granted, I didn't know it was a piece of paper, but I should have looked at the piece of, pa the piece of paper in the mirror room and tried to do something with it. Like, like I said before, I think it's because my frame of mind was in, like, an additive mode. I was thinking of adding stuff to the other room to make it a mirror rather than thinking of removing stuff, but nonetheless, really small problem, only had to use a walkthrough once, and it was for something absolutely tiny, and I've never needed to use it for anything else. And I pretty much just... I pretty much just got everything else. Like, every other puzzle just made sense. It just did. I never really got stuck. Aside from the, uh... Uh, the skulls. But that one had nothing to do with you know, problematic game design or anything like that. That one was just, well, difficult for me to figure out. And I spent like 10 minutes figuring it out, and I succeeded, and felt very satisfied for having done that. So the puzzles are really extraordinarily good. There's many a paid-for commercial game that has puzzles that are far less, make far less sense than this, and this is free. So that's pretty damn amazing. So that's one good thing. Puzzles are good. Also, the music is very good. And overall, I would say it's pretty creepy. A lot of the creepiness was hurt by the, the insta-deaths and the kind of absurd things just shooting out at you and whatnot and lurching. And the repetition. 
you know, go into a room and, like, I mean, like the legless girl coming after you. I had to do that section, like, what, five to ten times? I didn't count. It's somewhere in between there, I think. Okay, you run from her the first time. Oh my god, it's scary. Run from her the second time. Eh. Third time. Eh. Fourth time. Ugh. Fifth time. Oh my god, can I please just get away from her? I'm tired of this. Let's, let's let something new happen. Like, re repetition's not good for horror. It's really not. So, you know. Super dash, and then you die, and then reload. Super dash, and then you die, and then reload. Super dash, and then you die, and then reload. N not good. That hurts the horror. But despite all that stuff, it still was actually pretty damn creepy. It was. It was pretty atmospheric. I'm kind of amazed it was so atmospheric given those problems. But it was. So in the end, I don't feel, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel particularly satisfied with it, because it just, again, there's not much meat to the story, to the experience that I had there. I just went into a creepy house, and then I came out, and then that's kind of it. I don't really feel satisfied with that story. It's like a bunch of stuff just kind of happened, and then, okay, the end. I didn't, I don't really feel like I went on a journey so much. But nonetheless, it was pretty damn good. I'm impressed. Okay, well, I think that's about all I can think of to say. I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of The Witch's House. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Witch's House. It seems this video is not over yet. Everything you previously saw was recorded yesterday, this is the day after. I took a look at the walkthrough to see if there was another ending, and there is. And I'm going to try to get it. It's pretty easy to get, too. It's It just depends on a decision you make after the very last save, so I don't have to go back and do anything differently throughout the game. Or replay it or anything like that. I should just continue. Run from the legless girl, but do something differently. Apparently what I need to do is check the closet in the upper right room on the first floor. And then something different will happen. Apparently I need to do that, and then leave the house. So, the upper right room on the first floor. Let's see how many tries this takes me to get. Okay. Do I remember how to move? Yes, I do. Here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. I'm out, I'm out, I got it. Got Ellen's knife, and now I, I left. So, this should be the different ending. What's going to happen? By the way, that was my, like, eighth try or something like that. Somewhere between seventh and tenth try, I think, to get that one. I'm gonna edit out all the others, so this will be the only one you see. It would be very boring to watch me try to do all those other attempts. Now, let's see what's different. So, hold on. Let's check out the item. A small knife. Ellen's knife. Pick it up. I'm assuming it's the same letter. Probably. First half of a lost letter. I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's no legend that says it. Yep, that's the same one. Mm-hmm. All right, use this, pour the medicine bottle on the roses, and they disappear. Boy, you're stubborn. <laughs> she used Ellen's knife. How long are you going to chase me? You know that body won't last long. I 
can't even talk properly. Hmm? Give it back? No way. This body hurts much less. <laughs> this body hurts, hurts much less. I am the witch. Yep. <laughs> she swapped bodies, and that's her. The legless girl is her. She's the one that was... Well, that was the witch's body. And she swapped. And that's Ellen. In the witch's body. Trying to get her body back from the witch. Viola is the witch. You gave it to me in the first place. Why should I have to give it back? Right. Viola? You felt so sorry for me. I couldn't even move from my bed. That's why I use my magic to trade bodies with you. Just for a day? <laughs> I guess I did say that. I was surprised you could trap me with my own power, but to no avail. After all, it's my house, yes? It wouldn't be killing me anytime soon. I was guided by that house all the way. So I was insured to escape. Still not dead? I have to applaud your tenace tenacity. Ah, could it be? Are you that worried about your father? Oh, I know. You and your father, Viola. A close family of two. Those memories stayed in your body. He's a kind man. A hunter, isn't he? And he even sent you that letter. What a good father. So then, I suppose you're worried what'll happen when you're gone. It'll be just fine. I'll give him Viola's share of love. And I'll take her share of love, too. So, Viola? Viola, are you safe? Are you hurt anywhere? What? Why? I think she's trying to say father. Help. Stay away, monster. I think Viola just laughed, didn't she, as she walked away. <laughs> Holy shit, that is a way better ending! That is so much better than the other ending I got. Why? Oh, it's a kitty cat. Is anything else going to happen? No. Okay. That was miles, miles better than the ending that I got. See, the other ending was just... It didn't really make me satisfied at all. But this one was amazing! Now I know that her father, Viola's father, the real Viola, her father shot his daughter unknowingly in, in a different body. 
That is incredibly disturbing. And now his daughter that's coming back with him is not actually his daughter. <laughs> that ending is so much better than the other one, which makes me wonder, why did they basically hide the ending? I mean, unless you know, unless you know because someone told you there's another ending or walkthrough told you or something like that, unless you specifically have been told, there is practically no chance you will ever find that ending. While being chased at an extremely fast speed from the legless girl who seems to be powered by a jet engine for some reason, you have to go to a nondescript little cupboard that you have no reason to believe contains anything, use it, get the knife, and then leave. Almost no one's going to find that. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense why you'd even attempt to do that. You're running from her. Why would you attempt to find Ellen's knife in a cupboard? So, basically, that ending is hidden. Which is so bizarre, because they hid the best ending. Why would you do that? That is a horrible idea. That's the ending you should always get. In general. If you want to put secret endings that you have to kind of... Well, I mean, that are secret to do something different, sure, but hide the best ending? It's just like selling the game short. Why would you do that to yourself? That is so bizarre. That really should have been the main ending. And yet there it is, buried. If I hadn't read the walkthrough, I never would have known about that. Okay, well, in my mind, I'm going to pretend that that was the main ending. I'm going to pretend that was the ending I got, because it's much more satisfying. The previous ending never happened. Forget it. This is the one. I really just can't get over how bizarre that is. Why would you do that? Here we have a really good ending. And here we have a really unsatisfying ending. Let's put the really good ending, and let's bury it where almost no one's going to find it, and then let's put the less interesting ending as the main one that almost everyone is going to get. Yes, that makes sense. I, I don't understand. What? Why? Why? Anyway. Okay, well that's actually... Im it's improved my... satisfaction with the story. A lot. So I'm glad I went back. Alright, I hope everyone enjoyed the second and much better ending to The Witch's House.